you all and welcome to the Art Vlog Art Lovers with me, George Dopamine. Now it's not very often that you um, go to see an artist who's been long dead, in this case um, since 1973, and you never even heard of them. The name Pascarosa means very little to me, um, and yet um, this art Italian artist is, is experiencing a bit of a cultural rebirth in Britain in a show at the wonderful Italian specialist, modern art specialist gallery, the Easter Egg Collection here in Islington. But for a bit of artistic context, who was Pascarosa? Well, she was born in um, 1896 in rural Lazio. She grew up in poverty. And I think from, from the research I've done, she was illiterate, although she did le learn to read and write. At the age of 16, she made the move to Rome. Where she, um, where she became an artist model and she met her future husband, the artist Nino Bartoletti. Under Bartoletti's encouragement, she began to paint and quickly showed an aptitude for it, exhibiting at the Third Roman Secession in 1915 where it's fair to say she was incredibly well received and her art career began to take off. After that, throughout the late part, latter part of that decade and in the twenties, she exhibited in group shows in places like Madrid and Paris and Venice. And her first European solo show actually took place in art, this city in the late 1920s at the Arlington Gallery on Old Bond Street in Mayfair. Um, where she, where she, in the late twenties, um, put on a very well received show. If you read some of the press cuttings from that time, um, and it's quite unusual for an Italian woman to have a solo show at this time. Um, from then onwards until her death in 1973, she continued to paint. Um, she was shown at numerous Vienna, Venice Biennales, for example, and yet after her death, she's totally fallen off the artistic radar. So. Um, well, as we go in and explore her work, it's going to be really interesting to hopefully rediscover this artist. Come and join me as we head inside. The um, colours get better and better as this show goes on and Pascarosa um, reaches her maturity. And also, it's obviously, needless to say, much better to go to the gallery if you possibly can do, because the colours just can't be done justice. So if you can get along to the East Rift before April, do go.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that exploration there of the show by um, Pascarese's, or showing work by Pascarese, the Italian artist at the Easter Egg Collection here in Islington. I thoroughly enjoyed it, actually. I've come away with a bit of sunshine in my heart. I thought in terms of the range of the works, and um, they all came from the archive of Nino and Pascarese Bertoletti, um, which is a Roman archive, which clearly holds a large number of their works. And so we were able to see from some of the very earliest works by Pascarese all the way through to um, works of her maturity and that was important because for me she becomes a greater artist as she matures and gets to use colour in a really distinctive way so that was absolutely fantastic I thought the curation was good it was intimate just two galleries um, <clears throat> but they were well paced, broadly chronological. I like the fact that in the second gallery we see um, portraits of Pascarese by Nino that work really, really well. And also, um, I love the archive material, especially, you know, the catalogue um, for the Arlington exhibition. It gave a little chill to my spine, spine um, exploring that, as well as seeing some photographs of uh, Pascarese in her modelling guise, because the whole point of this exhibition was how she moved from muse to artist. I absolutely love the art itself and that's the most important thing about that. She was a master of using colour. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Um, I thought that the colours literally sung from the, sung from the, uh, the canvas. Um, they were alive. They were kind of not so much modern as timeless, although some of her contemporaries saw that she was very much avant-garde in the way that she, she dealt with colour. So that was very enjoyable and I thought the exhibition as a whole introduced me to an artist that I can't believe has not not been known for for so long um it, the, it's it's on until the 28th of april it's seven pounds 50 is really good value when you consider that you also have access to the wider east Street collection which includes one of the best collections of italian futurist art outside of italy so i do recommend that you come along to this show um, i enjoyed it and i think you know i'm filming this in january 2024 late january 2024 um, and if you want a bit of sunshine and color and beautiful color in your life then this show may well be for you don't forget to subscribe to the art vlog hit that notification bell and most importantly of all wherever you live in the world get out there and explore and support your local art scene